Okay guys, we're here at Golf Hill Villa up in Cap Estate. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom villa on half an acre of land um, overlooking the golf course and um, very Spanish style, built sometime uh, about, well, in the uh, mid 80s. This property actually overlooks the, what you can see in the distance here is the Caribbean Sea, uh, very spacious deck down below, which we'll go on to in a minute. And you can see the open areas out here. So we'll make our way into the property. We've got a dining area. This is what would normally be the front door up on the left and a foyer right on the left here. You've got a study and we'll stare down the hall into the living area. We've got a powder room up on the left, right here, powder room. Stairs which take you to the bedrooms, which are all upstairs. And um, right here is lounge area again, which opens onto the balconies outside. So you can see that breeze coming through here, which comes from the Atlantic side. We're pretty close to the Atlantic um, and the golf course. So in here is a it's quite a spacious kitchen. Um, you've got loads of countertops, as you can see, a lot of you know, mood lighting in here as well. And the area behind me augments the kitchen very well. All right, um, nice little barn door, which takes you back outside to access the garden, the entrance, and uh, the lower area of the property below. There is in fact a one bedroom downstairs, which we will have a look at as well. So here we are. Let's make our way upstairs. So we've got pretty high ceilings. Um, behind me is a glass window, which lets in quite a bit of natural light down the stairs. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, as we come up the stairs, we meet we met with a full bathroom and two two bedrooms which share that same bathroom which we just saw. Okay, it's air conditioned in here. And bedroom number two, which has a uh, View over, view over the pool, over the Atlantic, over sorry, the Caribbean Sea as well, the distant Caribbean Sea. It's a little, it's a lot closer in person than the video. <laughs> I can make it out quite clearly from where I am standing. All right, so here we are, king size bed in here. Go. All right, so let's move on to the master bedroom. It's quite a grand room. Again, you would have noticed all the rooms are actually air conditioned. And this is the master bathroom, double vanity, very comfortable setup. Yep, you got your tub. Standing shower with the glass sides. So it's quite a livable property. It's in fairly good condition. However, someone may, you know, decide to upgrade things such as the tiles, the bathrooms. This is the walk-in closet right here. And there's something of a private study, a gallery, a library, you might want to call it up here, which can always be used 
as an extension to the actual, yeah, the actual uh, walk-in closet. So this could be part of the walk-in closet very easily. You look through, here you see you get a view at pretty much every angle of the house. So there's a lot to see here. All right, so that's it for the main house. All right, so we're back outside and making our way down the stairwell to the deck, the lower deck below. See a terracotta tile finish all the way to the pool deck, which has a, uh, it's got a wooden deck on the right here, which looks like it does need some work, needs um, definitely needs some attention. But the property is in relatively good shape. Massive, pretty uh, decent sized pool here. And the apartment is actually up on the level above. So we'll take a walk up right now and have a look at that. There we go. So this apartment I should point out is actually accessed through the side uh, via that path from the kitchen. So, let me just show you along the side here, which actually is quite a quiet area. And as I pan left, you'll see the, you'll see the stairs that comes down from what is the kitchen area. Okay. All right, so this is part of the outdoors. We'll make our way, <clears throat> let's just, Taking the view here for a little bit again. You've got some more extended deck areas, even at this level of the apartment. And it's only a one bedroom. One bedroom. You know, very, uh, you know, simple setup inside here. It's the kitchen area here. And you've got the bathroom, dining area, finally, you're at the bedroom. So, that sums it up. Alright, so this can be a good Airbnb space, separate from the main living area, or just obviously to have guests. Um, I think this property actually has quite a bit of potential, and the listing price right now uh, really reflects great value for money. So. Alright, time to put your bids in. Thanks for watching.